Hi, it's clean and simple for this Christmas card, but I think it's so elegant. I just love this. Um, we are only using a single die as well. This is the Stacked Noel, one of our layering dies. Um, and there's all sorts of fun things you can do with this one. So we'll jump right in. Um, sometimes people ask me, what's something you can do that's really quick and easy? And, you know, when I think about it, I think, oh, well, a simple card like this is lovely. But sometimes there's too much white space for people. So what I've done for this one is I've brought in a um, Distress Oxide. This is a Candy Dapple. So it looks kind of red, but it's actually, it's not really a red, it's, it's not really a pink, it's, um, it's a little bit in between. Um, so I'm just going to put some on my craft mat, all right? Give it a little spritz of water. So what we're going to do is just wet it, and we're going to bring in a piece of coconut white card, and we're just going to pop it down and pick it up, okay? So what I like to do is do this in layers. So I'm going to dry it. There we go. And then I'm going to spritz a little more, because you've still got all that color on there. And I'm going to pop it back down and pick up some more of that color. And you can move it around, just get what you want, and you end up with all these sort of interesting patterns. go. It doesn't have to be perfectly dry. You can also just pop back through with a piece of kitchen roll and tack off some of the extra bits. And then you can decide what you want to do at this point. Now I'd like to bring in a little more solid color. So rather than diluting my pad, I'm going to wipe that up, bring in a bit more, and maybe not spray quite as much. Oh quite as much, but it will be a deeper, more intense color. So you can kind of place it where you want it and just get little bits coming through. So every time you do this, it's going to be completely different. You're not going to get two that are going to look alike. And sometimes you might think, oh, I'm not really sure I like that. You know, but I'll tell you, once it dries and it flattens out, it really does look lovely. So don't worry about that. I'm going to bring in heat tool. dry that again. So you can leave that if you want. You can add another color to that. You can even do a little spritzing with this if you want to um, bring some of the color out. You can do that. Um, I'm going to leave this, and I usually start with a piece that's larger than what I want so I don't get a puddle around the edge quite as much and I can trim it to size. But I've got one I did earlier. Let me just pop the lid on this. I'm going to bring it back in. And you can see, like I was talking about, it never looks the same twice. This one's quite a bit darker. Depends on what you like. If you like it lighter, use a lot more water. But one of the things I think that really brings this to life is to bring in a gold paint pen. Now I'm going to move this because this kind of goes everywhere. And I'm going to just use my ruler and I'm going to splatter this with the gold all over it. And it just adds a really interesting look to it. There we go. And if you want more in spots, you can do that down in the corners. But you'll get that shimmer because that's a metallic paint pen and this is one of the um, uh, pin touch paint pens. So let me see, once that dries, and I'll give it a little hit with the heat tool just to make sure, but you can see the shimmer coming from those little dots and it does add so much interest to it. There we go. And I always tell people when you do this, um, it will, because you've touched it with water, it will ripple. There's a couple things you can do. You can run it through your uh, die cutting machine on an embossed setting with a tan mat or you can do what I've done here and add another piece of white card to the back of it and that helps flatten it out. I'm going to go ahead and use a white on white mat for this. So I'm going to just bring this into place. I've added some mounting foam to raise it up. Pop this into place. And it's up to you if you want the top, the bottom. I actually think I like the darker color on the bottom. I like a little bit of the white showing through. So it's just it's a personal preference at that point. 
pop that right there. And I've done the Noel. So you've got to, you've got two different styles here. So this one cuts out your really detail, and this one's like a more backing, like this one. That's your gold. This is what I've used on the white. So I'm going to pop this on and just give it a bit of glue, spray it right over, and pop it onto the gold. So you will see the middle of that come through. You get that really elegant gold showing through. Now the other piece is kind of a shadow piece for it, so I've decided not to use that for this and added mounting foam just to the back of this. So very thin, strategically placed pieces here to raise this Noel up. There we go. I'm going to put that right into the corner, just sort of offset it into the corner. Now the other thing that this set has that's really nice is you have an ornament and you have a snowflake. Now I decided to use the snowflake for this one, so I've gone ahead and cut that. And it's been designed to fit over that O, so the top and the bottom are a little bit longer there. And I'm just going to do some glitter on this one. So let me just hit it with a bit of spray glue. Perfect. Let me just get that little spot where the tweezers were. I'm going to bring in my copy paper. Open that up and use some of the Frosted Sparkle Glitter Bits on it, which really gives you a lovely Christmassy feel to it. Press that down really well. Okay, move that and put this back into my container. Okay, lid on. So now what I can do is add a little bit of glue, top and bottom here. Oops, come on. Try that again. A little bit there, a little bit there. It should be enough. Let's see. Actually, I can get all the ends. Apologize. Put a little bit on each of those ends, and I think they'll rest right on there. Turn that over. And that is just going to add a lovely, lovely little sparkle accent to your stacked Noel. And how quick and easy is that for a beautiful, clean and simple Christmas card? Hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget our YouTube channel has a lot more for you to watch there. If you sign up uh, and subscribe, we'll send you an email when we load new videos onto the site. Mm -hmm.